Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and today I'm trying out the latest version of the Pocket Hose. Wish me luck, it's the Pocket Hose Top Brass. Epic Review Guys. Compared to previous versions of the Pocket Hose, this one is kind of heavy and kind of expensive. Over at Fry's in their As Seen on TV section, it was $39 for this 50 foot hose. If you can't find it locally, I'll put a link to it down below this video. Now they have made improvements, just like some of the other expandable contractable hoses, they've gone with brass fittings. And what's a little different here that gives me some hope is they have expanded the brass fitting to cover the portion where the hose comes up and meets it. A lot of people had issues with old versions of the pocket hose. That's where it would leak. So now supposedly it's protected with brass. It's got some other improvements and they seem to be using a different type of hose with more reinforcement. This is the actual rubber hose that's inside. Is it gonna work? Well, it's my third pocket hose in three years. Let's see how it does. Looks a lot like the pocket hose from last year with their solar stripe and all of that sort of thing. But let's take a look at these brass fittings. Supposed to be um, kink and tangle resistant. This is where the weight is coming from in this hose. These two connectors. Huh. Oh. What is it? It's hard to tell. They advertised about uh, the brass covering the connection point where this hose and the, the rubber tube basically that's inside comes up and meets the connector. But from here to here, this is plastic. Here you can look in the connectors, even though the rubber tube inside of the hose is uh, supposed to be three quarter inch in diameter, this is not. The opening that the water has to squeeze through is like maybe a quarter of an inch. Inside the piece of cardboard that lined the plastic container are the instructions and the precautions. And one thing particular to note is to prolong the life of your pocket hose top brass, completely drain and always store indoors when not in use. And I tend to do neither of those things. I leave it outside attached to the faucet. I turn the water off the faucet, but I don't carefully drain it and I don't want to have to bring it in and out every time I use it. I suppose the idea is this is light and portable enough that you can do that easily, but that's not how I use my hose. Makes me concerned that there's still an issue with um, the tubing breaking down from the UV. I think this is supposed to prevent that, but in the Texas sun, the sun always wins. And the other thing is, under warnings, do not leave this product unattended when in use or under pressure. So don't expect to be using it with your sprinkler. Here is the 50 foot pocket hose, top brass. It's laid out there without having any water pressure in it. Here's that clear hose, also 50 feet. Now it doesn't contract up to get shorter, but what it does is it flattens. You can see the tubing gets flat and that's part of uh, its feature. And then over here, we have your regular Lowe's ordinary 50 foot garden hose. So this is brass, it has the washer in it. Looks like it should connect well without leaking. The top brass part can spin independently of this plastic portion. Now our test location goes from this wall to the fence, which is 50 feet. And you can see here that the pocket hose top brass, when it's stretched up as much as it's gonna go, is about 25 feet. So it's a little bit less of a contraction than it used to be. The original pocket hose would I think the 25, or 25 foot version would contract down to about eight or nine feet. For you to get your 50 feet with this hose, that end has to be closed up. You can put a faucet on it, or there is a little valve you can turn to close it. But I'm gonna turn the water on with the valve open just to see what happens to the hose. There's no pressure at the other end. Okay, a little bit of stretchiness here. Now this is happening because there's a three quarter inch tube inside the hose but only the one quarter inch opening. So basically it's building its own back pressure. And I think it didn't like what I was saying about it, so it soaked my shoes. I'm feeling a lot of pressure coming out of it here. It's really pushing my hand back. But as for the actual volume of the water, I'm gonna have to test that out with a bucket and see. Now, we did get a fair amount of lengthening of it, but I don't think it's gonna do 50 feet. Without me closing the valve, let's see. Oh, I take that back. Yeah, at the fence, 50 feet without closing the valve. Now that's a big change from the old pocket hose where it's even trying to put your thumb over it to create pressure to make the hose stretch out would rarely work. But they've done that by putting that little one quarter 
narrow spot. Okay, I've closed it completely. It's getting a little bit longer as it hits full pressure. And yeah, definitely got your 50 feet. Okay, let's see how much water we'll get out of this and how far it will spray. Yeah, comparable to the clear flow hose, I think. Have to do the bucket filling test to see. That's just my faucet leaking there. This is actually still dry. And I've left it for about 20 minutes under full pressure against their advice and recommendation. See if it was gonna pop right away. And it seems to be doing okay so far. I have turned the water off the faucet. Let's release the pressure here. Let's see if it gets back down to 25 feet in length. Here we go with just the connector. Open this up. A little faster, I guess. Water can only come out of the hose so fast through that little quarter inch opening, so. This does take a little time. All right. Yeah, pretty good. Went back down to about 25 feet in length with the water pressure out of it. Have the faucet open full. We've got our expansion going on all here in the corner of the yard. We're gonna see how long it takes to fill up this bucket. especially fast. Okay, I'll have to time that later and see how long that took. I'm guessing about 40 seconds. Let's compare that to the regular low standard hose. Not gonna waste this bucket full of water. Gonna put it into this green stock stackable gardening system, which I've also reviewed and I'll put a link down below this video too. Put the water to good use. Wide open faucet with regular hose. Is it gonna be much faster? I think it's already quite a bit faster. I'm guessing 20-25 seconds. Filled the bucket about twice as fast. So the pocket hose top brass did what it said it was going to do. It does expand and contract, not as much as the original pocket hose. These do seem pretty sturdy. I had no trouble with this. I had no trouble with it leaking. I like this uh, brass valve here to turn the water on and off. If you've recently cut the grass or it's muddy out, you know the hose is gonna be covered with leaves and grass and mud and who knows what in the yard. So do you really wanna bring that into your house? If they make this take more effort than just leaving my hose out in the yard, I'm not going to use this. So I think the only fair way to test it is to treat this hose the same way I would treat that Lowe's hose that's been sitting out in my yard for three years. $39 for this 50 foot hose. My 50 foot hose from Lowe's, I'm trying to think three years ago, I think it was around $30, $35. So similar in price. It's lasted three years, however. This is the third pocket hose that I'm on. I will do some updates in a couple weeks time. I'm gonna have all three hoses out there. So whichever one ends up being the most convenient and uh, most useful for the different needs I have for it, that's probably the hose that I would say is the best. That's the one I'll be using a few weeks from now. You can keep checking back for that update video or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up and we'll see you on our next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy At Epic Review Guys, a gift of a try What does the fox buy? Nobody knows But before he goes shopping he watches